My name is Rehan Shah and I would like to present my idea, the Global GPU Network. Using this idea, I would like to break the large monopoly of Google that is abusing the resources without my knowledge. Chrome itself will shut you down. एक तरीके से आप मेरे डिवाइस की लाइफ कम कर दे रहे हो कि बैटरी लाइफ कम कर दे रहे हो इज मी इवेंचुअली पेइंग फॉर इट व्हाट इज द सॉल्यूशन देन हेलो माय नेम इज रिहान शाह एंड माय आइडिया इज द ग्लोबल जीपीयू नेटवर्क आई एम फ्रॉम अहमदाबाद इंटरनेशनल स्कूल 11th ग्रेड एंड आई एम डूइंग साइंस Global GPU network is a very novel approach in which you will be using the phone's GPU as a way to process all the heavy GPU computation like gaming, rendering, or training a whole LLM model on it. It also is a very transparent as it uses crypto technology. I'm most excited to present to Mohak Mangal sir because his YouTube channel Soch is a very amazing YouTube channel which does a lot of analysis content, and I think it's really helpful and shows a new insight in the world. Next up, we have Rehan Sneha Shah. Hello judges my name is Rehan Shah and I would like to present my idea the global gpu network using this idea i would like to break the large monopoly of google and give small developers the right for the rewards that they deserve so i love software development and i built few websites i wanted to monetize them so i went to the google adsense page but there i learned they could take up to 49% of the revenue that they gain from advertisers this was just unfair also advertisers are now having more control over the content that developers produce reducing their freedom of speech another big issue as a developer i faced was skyrocketing gpu prices which made it harder to go into fields such as ai development machine learning gaming i wanted to fix these two problems and give developers the rightful tools that they need and that they deserve that's why i came up with the global gpu network let's say new york times comes to me because it's fed up with google's ad management and open ai comes to me because it's fed up with high gpu prices both of them will just use few lines of code to implement this network afterwards open ai will have a large binary file which will have the code to train the gpt5 model this binary file is divided into small chunks and then when smartphone opens the new york times app chunk is downloaded in the phone and then run the output is given back and this way a whole model and any large computation can be done just using phones the network is totally decentralized thus it never goes offline and it also uh, auto load balancing the network also uses crypto technology and smart contracts to the increase transparency and reduce the hassle of international payments now open ai is very happy thus it will give them revenue to new york times for providing it the distribution new york times consumers are very happy as they don't have to see the ads and i am happy as i will get the small percentage share of the revenue but let's look at numbers is it actually that practical and yes it is with 25% decrease in total cost than normal and a 2x increase in total revenue for new york times so my question is do you want to join me to make a global impact and change the way we think about the internet thank you which was good but the questions were very hard i think i just want to double click to just understand what you're doing better yeah. firstly like open ai what is the kind of job that open ai is giving to new york times so like open ai might have a tensor for fry for cleaning and the tensor for fry it would be distributed into multiple chunks so that small computations can be easily done on mobile phone and that chunk would be reformed to the main output so the code for doing the cleaning is also being passed along by open ai to new york times no the op i will give sdks and apis to open ai to do that like in tensorflow you can already do do parallelization so i will give a device interface which makes the each mobile phone act like a thread and what is the relation between with the ads advertisements right now are not very beneficial to the developers and there is no other good way of monetization on internet while displaying content on free sure. so this is a very good alternative to that Uh, the way you are building it, right? This has been done successfully in past. One successful example I know is that there is a large proxy company. Proxy, you know what it is, right? Yeah. There is a large residential proxy company. What they have done is they have partnered with the gaming companies. This proxy company will give them a SDK where those gaming companies can run their uh, apps without ads because ads are annoying. Nobody likes ads anyway. And uh, in return, they will take the bandwidth of the user when the phone was under charge or whenever. But if I route that traffic through actual users which is let's say you me everyone who has a phone that traffic new york times can't figure out whether that traffic is a bot traffic or real traffic because that is coming from a residential ip the only problem is users are not aware this is happening but you when you are using the app then only it will be able to perform the call if i am using the app right let's say for example i am trying to use the app new york times have most visit from app or web 
for web it's also possible due to web gpu api and wasm okay so you are saying that when i am run new york times on a web gpu you will do crypto mining or all kind of gpu mining using my computer at that time i won't be able to do anything else computers were still slow then computers are anyway very slow these days right yeah, if, if, but the main thing is the app doesn't want it to get slow because it's a worse user experience you won't use it so they will put limits because they, it's not in their best incentive to use your full potential okay so if you're using just a small fraction of my yeah. gp power right yeah. then the kind of distributing computing that you're doing at a such a large scale yeah the question comes is it worth it but it, uh, but it would be act, act on a large scale. That's why I chose. What is the large scale? New York Times had in a given, given point of time. What is the concurrency that New York Times have? Let's say fifty thousand, right? Fifty thousand people are trying to open New York Times at the same time. The moment I switch tabs, the same GPU API that you told me about is suspended by Chrome itself. Is that correct? Yes. Chrome itself will shut you down if you try to do it for a long time. Chrome itself will shut you down because that is abusing the resources without my knowledge. Uh, yeah, means not without your knowledge. Of course, without my knowledge, I'm not going to consent for this, right? I'm not going to consent that by when I'm browsing, I'm going to use my GPU to mine it, and I'm going to make What I'm getting as a user, you are going to use my resources, correct? But you are getting to use the website for free, without. That I'm anyway using it. free. Ads, we see, we have ad blockers all over, bro. I got pretty much roasted on the stage. Hard love, I guess. I'm not convinced. Up, husband. देखिए मतलब एकदम उसको और नीचे लेवल पर ब्रेक किया जाए ना जो सुभाष बोल रहे हैं वो ये बोल रहे हैं कि आज की डेट में अगर एक वेबसाइट पे या एक ऐप पे आप एड सर्व करते हो तो यू आर यूजिंग सम पार्ट ऑफ माय रिसोर्स परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ माय लैपटॉप और माय मोबाइल डिवाइस इज नॉट अफेक्टेड एट ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ द एड दर एम सी टूमोरो वैन यू स्टार्ट रनिंग दिस ऑब्वियसली दिस इज गोइंग टू यूज मोर कंप्यूटेशनल रिसोर्सेज आप जो है मेरे से रेवेन्यू किसी और तरीके से ले रहे हो एक तरीके से आप मेरे डिवाइस की लाइफ कम कर दे रहे हो मेरे डिवाइस की बैटरी लाइफ कम कर दे रहे हो तो इट इज मी इवेंचुअली पेइंग फॉर इट बट मे बी इट डजेंट स्ट्राइक मी देयर एंड देन यूर आइडिया इज गुड जी पी यू इज एक्चुअल चैलेंज राइट नाउ इज ए वेरी वेरी बिग चैलेंज राइट नाउ द वेबसाइट ऑनर्स डू वॉन्ट टू मेक मनी विदाउट सोइंग एड्स एड्स आर मई नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू सो एड्स एट द सेम टाइम एप डेवलपर्स वॉन्ट टू मेक मनी नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू सो एड्स एंड एड्स में चिल्लर बनता है सो द प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी जेनविन बट द एजुकेशन आई विल सी कैसे करते हो about thinking in this direction amazing amazing so choose one of the judges and they will reveal their scores oh, so fast sir maine bata raha hai maine bata raha hai see all the choose sir bahut bahut thak gaya anshuman sir hmm um yeah so i i felt your uh, solution was great so 3 out of 4 there response also 2 out of 3 personality also 2 out of 3 i believe like there is some scope of improvement there you could have thought more about it as subhas said if you would have thought about the corner cases of how do you utilize devices where it doesn't become intrusive for those devices how are you willing to say it okay for example even for ad websites you're willing to let go of ads in certain cases if the person is on very low bandwidth how do you do some of those intelligently uh, if you have thought about that i would have given maybe more scope but still 7 out of 10 Same bro, same thing. Thank you. Exact same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you guys. Man, it went good. Like uh, I got advice. It's important if I want to carry my idea forward. Like, you know, but I don't think I'm in that position to give motivation. The simple advice and just like. He was one of the most deserving candidate for me. If uh, there's one person who can go there and actually get something benefit out of it, hmm. he might be the guy. Hmm. And if hmm. the idea he's working on actually he can implement it, he hmm. will be onto something really, really big. you have a prototype ready which is also very very commendable this is made for blind people which will be integrated with ai just like chat gpt aapne jo banaya hai jo bata rahe ho aap bahut useful impressive impressive very very impressive